These words from astronaut Bob Behnken capture the essence of what makes SpaceX's Crew Dragon unlike any spacecraft before it. While previous vehicles were designed with pure function in mind, often at the expense of comfort, Crew Dragon represents a revolution in space travel that astronauts now actively prefer over any alternative. In the history of human spaceflight, we've seen remarkable achievements in getting people beyond our atmosphere. But ask any astronaut who flew on early spacecraft about comfort, and you'll likely get a grimace in response. From the cramped confines of the Mercury capsule to the button-filled complexity of Russia's Soyuz, space travel has traditionally meant enduring discomfort for the sake of the mission. Then came Crew Dragon. Not only did SpaceX create a more cost-effective solution for reaching orbit, but they fundamentally reimagined what the experience of space travel could be. With its sleek design, autonomous systems, and focus on passenger comfort, Crew Dragon has transformed space travel from an endurance test into something approaching luxury. The difference between flying on Crew Dragon versus older spacecraft isn't just noticeable, it's dramatic. As astronauts describe it, it's like comparing economy class to business class, except in this case, the superior option actually costs less. What makes this spacecraft so special that astronauts refuse to fly anything else? From its surprisingly spacious interior and minimalist touchscreen controls to its panoramic windows and custom-tailored spacesuits, every element of Crew Dragon has been engineered to enhance the human experience of spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Today, we're taking you inside SpaceX's revolutionary Crew Dragon to reveal exactly why this spacecraft has redefined space travel forever. Let's dive right in. Before we step inside Crew Dragon, let's appreciate what makes this spacecraft exceptional from the outside. Unlike utilitarian spacecraft of the past, Dragon's exterior combines form and function in a way that screams 21st century innovation. The capsule's brilliant white exterior isn't just for aesthetics. It's coated with a special material called Z93C55, designed specifically to withstand the harsh conditions of space. This protective layer shields the spacecraft from extreme temperature fluctuations, micrometeoroid impacts, and solar radiation, all while giving Dragon its distinctive gleaming appearance. What really sets Dragon apart are its propulsion systems. The spacecraft features two different types of engines, each with a specific purpose. Distributed around the capsule in small clusters are 16 Draco thrusters. These precision engines use hypergolic propellants, chemicals that ignite spontaneously when they come into contact, allowing for pinpoint maneuvering in orbit. But Dragon's true power lies hidden within its prominent side ridges. Here, eight Super Draco engines remain on standby ready to activate in case of emergency. These engines pack a punch, generating force 200 times stronger than the Draco thrusters. During a launch abort, they can propel the capsule away from a failing rocket in milliseconds, pulling the crew to safety with acceleration comparable to a high-performance sports car. This escape system has already proven itself during ground tests, demonstrating SpaceX's commitment to crew safety. Behind the capsule sits the trunk, a 12-foot cylindrical section that serves multiple critical functions. It's not just a connector between Dragon and the Falcon 9 rocket. It houses the solar arrays that power the spacecraft, contains radiators to dissipate excess heat, and features stabilizing fins that maintain Dragon's aerodynamic balance during atmospheric flight. Together, these components create what many aerospace engineers consider the most elegant spacecraft design in operation today. Stepping inside, the interior revolution. The moment you enter Crew Dragon, the difference becomes clear. This isn't your grandparents' spacecraft. Gone are the claustrophobic confines and overwhelming instrument panels of previous vehicles. Instead, you're greeted by a surprisingly spacious cabin that feels more like a luxury vehicle than a space capsule. With dimensions of 16 feet tall and 13 feet wide, Dragon offers 9.3 cubic meters of pressurized space, enough room for four astronauts to move comfortably during their journey. While designed primarily for four-person crews, SpaceX claims the vehicle could accommodate up to seven astronauts if needed, though NASA missions typically fly with four. What's most striking about Dragon's interior is what's missing. Buttons. Lots of buttons. Look at Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. 
Its control area resembles an aircraft cockpit from the 1960s, with switches, levers, and gauges covering nearly every surface. The commander, seated in the middle, even needs a special pointing stick just to reach all the controls. Even Boeing's newer Starliner spacecraft relies heavily on physical controls and traditional flight interfaces. Dragon, by contrast, features just three large touchscreens. That's it. No switches, no levers, no gauges, just three screens that manage every aspect of the spacecraft's operation. Each touchscreen can display up to 10 different information sets simultaneously, allowing astronauts to monitor specific systems as needed. There's a primary systems page that provides an overview of Dragon's status, with the ability to access at least 25 to 30 specialized pages for deeper information. These displays show everything from the spacecraft's position in orbit to environmental conditions and system capabilities in real time. But here's the revolutionary part. Astronauts rarely need to use these controls. Despite weeks of training in ground simulators, Dragon crews spend most of their time as passengers rather than pilots. The spacecraft operates autonomously, handling tasks from launch to docking with minimal crew input. Even when problems arise, the solution doesn't immediately fall to the onboard astronauts. SpaceX's ground controllers take the first crack at troubleshooting, sending commands directly from mission control. Only if these efforts fail would astronauts need to take manual control, a fundamental shift in spacecraft design philosophy that prioritizes automation over manual operation, the ultimate space tourism experience. What truly transforms Dragon from a transportation vehicle into an experience is its windows. Four strategically placed viewports give astronauts breathtaking panoramas of Earth, the Moon, and the broader cosmos from the comfort of their carbon fiber and Alcantara cloth seats. For missions that don't involve docking with the International Space Station, something even more spectacular is possible. The standard docking port at Dragon's nose can be replaced with a 1.2-meter domed window similar to the ISS Cupola. This massive viewport creates an immersive experience, allowing astronauts to lean forward and take in 360-degree views of space and Earth below, a feature showcased during the historic Polaris Dawn mission. The experience inside Dragon is further enhanced by its Environmental Control and Life Support System, ECLSS. Unlike earlier spacecraft where astronauts endured whatever temperatures the systems dictated, Dragon allows crew members to adjust the cabin temperature between a comfortable 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 27 degrees Celsius. The spacecraft maintains ideal atmospheric pressure, humidity, and oxygen levels automatically, creating an environment that feels surprisingly Earth-like despite being hundreds of miles above the planet. The mission experience from launch to landing. Now let's walk through what a typical Crew Dragon mission actually feels like from the perspective of an astronaut experiencing this next-generation spacecraft. Your journey begins long before launch day. You'll be fitted with SpaceX's custom-tailored pressure suit, the same advanced EVA suit provided to the Polaris Dawn crew for their groundbreaking spacewalk. Unlike the bulky spacesuits of the past, these sleek white suits are engineered from materials inspired by the Falcon rocket interstage and Dragon trunk, providing thermal regulation while remaining surprisingly flexible. Your helmet is a marvel of modern engineering, 3D printed from polycarbonate and coated with copper and indium tin oxide. This specialized visor reflects harmful solar radiation while bouncing infrared heat back toward your body when in the cold depths of space. The visor integrates a heads-up display reminiscent of Tony Stark's Iron Man interface, delivering real-time data about spacecraft systems directly into your field of view. On launch day, you'll ride to the pad in a Tesla Model X, another touch of SpaceX's integrated approach. Once at the launch pad, Ground crew help you board Dragon and secure you into your seat. Your boots connect to the floor and your suit plugs into a port that supplies cooling nitrogen and oxygen throughout the countdown process. Then comes the moment of truth, liftoff. The Falcon 9's nine Merlin engines ignite with 1.8 million pounds of thrust, pushing you back into your seat. Unlike the violent rattling ascent of the space shuttle with its solid rocket boosters, Dragon's ride is remarkably smooth, at least initially. As astronaut Bob Binkin described it, 
Our expectation was that things would basically get a lot smoother than the space shuttle did, but Dragon was huffing and puffing all the way into orbit. About nine minutes after liftoff, you'll reach orbital velocity. 15 minutes into the flight, with Dragon safely in orbit, you can remove your helmet and experience the magic of weightlessness. This is when Dragon's spacious cabin truly shines, offering enough room to float freely while gazing at Earth through the windows. For longer missions, Dragon includes amenities like a toilet, a significant upgrade from the waste collection bags used in early spacecraft. Located in what would be considered the ceiling of the capsule, though in zero gravity, directions become meaningless. It's not exactly luxurious, but it's a vast improvement over previous systems. When it's time to return to Earth, Dragon's autonomous systems once again take control. The spacecraft will target one of seven potential landing sites with SpaceX's mission control, selecting the optimal location based on weather and safety considerations. As Dragon begins its descent, the Draco thrusters fire to properly orient the capsule for re-entry. The spacecraft will soon reach the speeds of 17,500 miles per hour, 28,000 kilometers per hour, creating intense heat as it compresses the atmosphere in front of it. Dragon's Pico X heat shield, a SpaceX improved version of NASA's phenolic impregnated carbon ablator, absorbs and dissipates this extreme heat, keeping the cabin and crew protected. Atmospheric drag gradually slows Dragon's descent to about 350 miles per hour, 560 kilometers per hour, while the crew experiences forces four to five times stronger than Earth's gravity. Once the fiery re-entry phase ends and communications are re-established, you'll prepare for parachute deployment. First, two drogue parachutes deploy to stabilize the capsule. Then four main parachutes unfurl, dramatically slowing your descent to a gentle 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, before splash down in the ocean. A recovery ship with SpaceX personnel will be waiting nearby, ready to retrieve both you and the spacecraft. After the capsule is hoisted onto the recovery vessel's deck, you'll emerge from Dragon with assistance from the ground crew. Having spent time in weightlessness, you'll temporarily struggle with Earth's gravity, but soon regain your land legs. Meanwhile, Dragon begins its journey back to SpaceX facilities, where it will be refurbished and prepared for its next mission a reusability feature that dramatically reduces the cost of spaceflight. The Reliability Revolution What truly sets Crew Dragon apart is its track record. Since its first crewed flight in May 2020, Dragon has proven itself as the most reliable spacecraft for transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station. It has demonstrated capabilities that previous vehicles simply couldn't match, from its autonomous docking procedures to its emergency abort systems. With each successful mission, Dragon has redefined what we expect from human spaceflight. The spacecraft's blend of automation, comfort, and safety has established a new standard, one that astronauts now prefer over any alternative. The data tells the story. Dragon's reliability metrics exceed those of any other currently operating crewed spacecraft, with systems redundancy and failure tolerance built into every critical component. For the first time in spaceflight history, we have a vehicle that prioritizes both the technical demands of space travel and the human experience. Dragon doesn't just get astronauts to space, it transforms the journey into something approaching enjoyment rather than endurance. This transformation represents more than just an engineering achievement. It signals a fundamental shift in how we approach space exploration. As access to orbit becomes more routine and comfortable, we move closer to a future where space travel is no longer limited to a select few, but becomes accessible to a broader segment of humanity. Dragon has forever changed what we expect from spacecraft. What was once considered impossible, a vehicle that's both more advanced and more comfortable while being significantly less expensive, is now flying regularly to orbit. As SpaceX continues to refine and enhance this revolutionary spacecraft, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in human spaceflight. The question isn't whether Dragon will remain the gold standard for orbital transportation, but rather how its innovations will inspire the next generation of vehicles taking humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX is already incorporating lessons learned from Dragon into Starship, their interplanetary transport system designed to carry humans even farther into the solar system. So what about you? 
Would you take a ride in Crew Dragon if given the opportunity? The experience of witnessing our blue planet from orbit, floating weightlessly while protected by one of the most advanced vehicles ever created. It's an adventure that was once reserved only for government astronauts, but is gradually becoming accessible to more people. Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Would you prefer the smoother ride of Dragon or the huffing and puffing rocket experience described by NASA astronauts? And if you enjoyed this inside look at SpaceX's revolutionary spacecraft, hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for more exclusive content on SpaceX, Tesla, and all of Musk's groundbreaking ventures. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.